Mike's Daily Podcast. The voice you hear at the beginning of the show that says, Mike's Daily Podcast. I'm going to sing you another song. That is my Uncle Yup. He passed away, I guess, when was that? I can't say. It's been a while now. And that was a really sad day because he was my uncle in Germany. And he would sing all the time like I just tried to sing and it was sad. But the point is... Mike's Daily Podcast. On this show, you will occasionally hear a voice that belongs to someone who is no longer with us. Mike's I, as of Daily this moment, I'm with you podcast. talking and doing this podcast. Yeah! But you're about to hear a voice who's no longer with us. And I'm not going to make a big deal about this on Facebook. Quite frankly, I think when people post on Facebook, my Uncle Ralph died or something like that, I don't like that because it turns into a popularity contest of how popular was Uncle Ralph? Let's see. How many sad faces with the teardrops did he get? Oh, well, he only got five? Nobody knew Uncle Ralph then. And I'm not going to make a posthumous page. And I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to tell the people that listen to this podcast. Because I've already told the people that are the most important people in my life. And that were the most important people in in the, uh, uh, well, not a person's life. But the most important people in Basil's life. I know it's a bit cheery, this music, but the sad truth is that Basil the Boxer has passed away. He passed away Friday morning. In fact, the last podcast I did was on Friday morning. He was still alive as far as I knew, but he passed away shortly later on that morning. Sometime, maybe six or seven o'clock, we're not sure exactly, but his old body finally gave out He was almost 12 years old. And the podcast picture today... And here's today's podcast picture. ...is is not going to be of Basil because I I will get to many, believe me, many, many, many pictures of Basil the way we used to know him, the way we loved him, the way we'll always remember him. I'm going to post a picture from yesterday. I went with my lovely lady friend on a very therapeutic walk because Friday was so horrible, so terrible. I can't even go into it right now how bad it was. When he passed away But Saturday was a therapeutic day A day of remembering him We went to a park in Oakland And they would not let Basil the Boxer Go to this park Because no dogs allowed at this park I know Basil that's terrible Yes I know Basil You will live on in this podcast my friend He's no longer with us But there he is And I'll tell you an interesting thing about that bark That you just heard That was One of the last really strong barks Basil could do. He had degenerative myelopathy. It's kind of like ALS where you just, the the muscles start to give out. The the brain can no longer send messages to the legs. And in the case with Basil, it was starting to break down his breathing. And that's eventually what gave out were were his lungs. And, but in that process he couldn't bark anymore he was doing these silent barks so that's the most recent loud bark that I have of him and believe me I, I the fact that I'm talking to you so together right now so like in a state of okay that's yeah how it is I, I, th- that took a lot of work my friend because I was I was a puddle of goo as Rob Black mentioned to me. In fact, I was producing Rob Black's show, his money show, when it happened, and he loves dogs, and he did a little homage to Basil on the air, and I played a little clip of Basil's barking back when he was younger. But it it just... It's... I'm in a good moment right now. I will be in a sad moment later. I'll probably have even more tears later. It's... The toughest thing A a guy I called Basil a guy But this guy Basil My boxer Had been with me For over 10 years And someone said to me It's like you lost an appendage On Friday morning It's yeah It's like a piece of me is gone So 
in a sense, I'm thinking that he's still with us in some way. And in memories, I don't know if you won't believe in the spirit thing. Dogs have spirits. I believe he's he's still with me. He's still around and watching me. And now he can get up. Now he can walk again. And now he can do whatever he wants again. He's he's able to eat and chase deer and do all the things he couldn't do for so long because the degenerative myelopathy was taking over. The podcast pictured today is of a place that was very peaceful and nice and we went there and had a beautiful time, my lovely lady friend and I, and she's been such a strength for me. Um, I, I, I don't know how I would get through this without her. Uh, um, yeah. Middle Harbor Shoreline Park in Oakland, West Oakland. There's uh, where we were yesterday. It was such a beautiful day and we were remembering him and she wrote a cute little thing in the sand. There's like a little beach there. She wrote this thing in the sand that said, "We love you, sweet. We love you forever, sweet Basil." And a little dog paw. But it's, you know, it's part of life, death. And I mean, it's cliché to say that, but I, I I don't know however any well where way else to put that. And I knew the day was coming at some point. I mean, he was almost 12 and that's pretty good for a boxer that's very old. So uh, I was happy he got this that far. Um maybe I'll have my lovely lady friend on on a podcast soon and we can discuss it more, but it is weird cuz you walk around the house and He's not there anymore, you know, and there's all these little reminders of him. And some people, when someone dies, they immediately get rid of all their stuff. I don't want the memories. And there was part of me that wanted to do that. But then I'm like, you know what? I, I can't. He's, he is still here and he's still a part of me. And I, I, I'd have to, I'd have to remove my, my soul if I was to get every, rid of everything because he's a part of my soul you know he's there and some of you might be going oh this is over a dog how can you be this sentimental and you know what then you've never had a dog you've never had a pet and you've never understood and I know some people are like I don't like dogs because they're loyal and, and yeah I, I actually heard someone say that to me once You can't trust them because they're too loyal. I mean, no one can be that loyal. Well, that's sad. And and the thing is about dogs, and Rob Black put it very succinctly, the day that his dog passed away, I remember he said this on the air, that you can learn a lot from a dog. They live an entire life. You you see their entire life because they don't live very long. And as we go outside a cafe anyway, where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcast Valleyton today, the last place on earth. You learn a lot from them because they live their entire life in such a short time. And it's a little micro microcosm. And it teaches you a lot about how are you living your life? Are you taking things for granted? Someone said to me, oh, that's so sad you didn't get to say goodbye to him. You weren't there with Basil the last moments. And I'm like, you know what? I said goodbye to him that morning and ev- before I left and he was still alive. And... Whenever I said goodbye to Basil, I said it to him like it was his last day, like his last moments. And I did. I took not a single moment for granted with that dog. And I hope you ask yourself right this second if you are taking any moment for granted in your life. Because you should not ever, ever, because anyone around you could be dead that you love, that you hold dear, that you bicker with or whatever. Stop it. They could be gone tomorrow morning. I I mean, you know, I, I record this podcast now. Maybe in an hour later, like what happened with me, Basil was gone. It could happen with your loved one. It could be gone in a moment. So don't take anyone for granted. Remember, they could be gone in an instant. And cherish people and cherish things. And look who's outside a cafe anyway. Cherish things I guess cherish people That's what I mean You Don't get too materialistic Don't get all into your things Now I don't know where I'm going with this Look who's here Hello Michael Mash It's Madame Rutabaga I am so sad to hear about the news Ooh. Thank you Madame Rutabaga Did you like Basil? Yes You would tell me the truth Even if you didn't like Basil You'd be honest with me right? Yes And uh 
Do you think you're ever going to get a dog? No. Why not? It's too much trouble. Yeah. There's a lot of work involved with having a dog. You got to walk them. But walking is good. You need the health. You need the fresh air. Am I going to get another dog soon? No. I don't think so. It's going to be a while. However, here's something I'd like to say. Uh, I am going to walk my friend's dogs. That's a fact. Because too often, this has been, this was certainly a problem for me. I did, I had like a lot of friends that had dogs, but would they help me out if I needed Basil to be watched or if I wanted to go on a trip or, you know, they, they weren't there for me. And I was like, wait a minute, what, there's something wrong here. It takes a village. It takes a lot of work to watch the dogs and to walk them. And I know a lot of dogs don't get walked. Anywho. My my contribution to the community is going to be I'm going to walk my friend's dogs And I might even watch a dog or two When they're out of town And I'm not going to charge them anything It's going to be just Because that, that's It's a pay it forward thing And then it was always difficult for me Always difficult Because I could never leave I could never go on a trip or anything Because Unless I took Basil with me You know It was tough And so I understand that and dog owners got to be more supportive with each other. I know there's websites and stuff you can sign up to be with different communities. But hey, how about your own friends? How about the people you really know? How come they're not helping you out? Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Oh, there's someone else here. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we just wanted to say that we think that Basil was the best dog ever and we can't wait to have his voice forever on this podcast with us, dear. Yeah, he's great. Basil the Baxi. Do you know that? Thanks, guys. Oh, there was so much more I wanted to cover, but I got to wrap it up. My lovely lady friend's coming back with Burmese food. Oh, you know what? One time someone wanted me to... Adopt a Burmese mountain dog That was just walking around her street She goes I need someone to adopt it And I couldn't Because I had Basil See and now I can help out in these situations I want to help This is what I want to do What do you want to do? What do you think about Any of the topics I covered? And would you like to pay tribute To Basil the Boxer? You can give me a call Leave me a message On the Cafe Anyway line You can call me 336-MM-DAILY That's 3 plus 3 equals 6 MM as in Mike Matthews Daily is and what this podcast Will try to be Again I had to take a day off I hope you understand By the way Basil uh, is going to be cremated He's going to be in a box That is going to have a wonderful Little saying On the plaque and I just want to say That the people that Helped me out I'm not going to say The name of the business just because it, I don't know, just a little weird to do that on my podcast. But it was like the only place to get this done in Podcastro Valley. And they were so nice and so helpful and so kind and so understanding. I don't know if I could have gotten through the situation without them. So, anyway, Basil will be with us forever and ever and in this podcast forever and ever. Thank you for listening. You can see the podcast picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. Thank you for listening to F F F so 2093, 2093. Next show it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. Thank you. We miss you, Basil. We'll always love you. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at Mike's TV Podcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.